this is Monica. Welcome back to my channel Suts and Bees. In today's video we'll be making this luxurious lavender bubble bath. This bubble bath differs from the ones that you buy at the store because it does not contain any harsh surfactants. All the surfactants added are extremely mild and will provide big bubbles that will last for a while as well as leaving your skin clean and soft. I have added vegetable glycerin and polyquaternium 7 for an additional silky feel to the skin. And to give it that nice lavender scent, I have added 1% lavender essential oil as well as lavender hydrosol and colored it with a beautiful purple. So come on, let's go make it. In this 600 milliliter beaker, I will be adding my surfactant face. 24 grams of BioTurn AS40. 24 grams of cocoa betaine. 3.6 grams of SLSA. want to just stir it. It's going to become very viscous. Um, I suggest you use um, like a strong spoon to stir it. As you can see it's um, as you can see it's extremely viscous like very snotty like slime. That's okay. That's what we want. And at this point is where I would like to add my preservative and my essential oil as well as my coloring. Okay, so here I will be measuring my preservative, Liquid Dermal Plus, at 0.6 grams. 1.2 grams of Lavender 4042. And I will not be adding any um, emulsifier to this because it is only 1% uh, essential oil so that's uh, it doesn't exceed the amount that the that the AS40 can emulsify. Okay here I'm going to add my liquid dermal plus and this is where you want to add your coloring I'm going to add just a tiny bit of purple not too much just to give it some color it gives it a really nice light purple. Okay, I will be using a 250 milliliter beaker for my water face. I will be adding lavender hydrosol to accentuate the lavender scent because I don't want to add more than 1% of essential oil. So in order to increase the scent, the lavender hydrosol will assist with that. 24 grams of lavender hydrosol. 36.6 grams of distilled water. 2.4 grams of polyquaternium 7. 3.6 grams of vegetable glycerin. Well, we want to stir everything together before we pour it into our surfactant face. Okay, we're going to start mixing in slowly. And you, you don't want to, once you add the water, you don't want to stir too harshly because you don't, you'll create too many bubbles. Just enough to get this incorporated. Okay, so we have uh, everything incorporated and it's still pretty snotty. It's still very fluid so what I like to do is cover it up for several hours and just let all the ingredients uh, work together to fully uniform and then I can package it up so I'll be right back okay so it's been about I want to say an hour and a half I'm usually a little more overnight but it's such a small amount that um, so if you, I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but it's, it's nice and gooey but it's um, it's not too thick it's pretty thin so it's a really nice consistency for a bubble bath formula. And it smells really good. Uh, so I will be using a four ounce uh, squeezy bottle. So it can just be poured. There you have it. We just made some luxurious 
Lavender Bubble Bath. Thank you for watching. See you next time.